this is a toilet uh, we spend around uh, let me say we spend uh, around uh, 10,000 to build this toilet 10,000 so this is the this is the the owner of this house has al is already in and uh, they have allowed us to to at least come and check so this house has uh, two bedrooms and a kitchen and this house is going to when it's finished it will be so amazing so uh people are asking how much was it to build this house first because there's a lot of wind let me show you outside uh outside first before i come and explain to you the inside of how much the cost of this house the kitchen side So this is this is how the outside of this house is looking now it's when it will dry they will uh, do the plastering and when the plastering is done the house will be looking perfect So this house when you uh when you look at the roofing they will put a ceiling but when you look at the roofing of this house you can see uh they used timber they didn't use just normal poles or trees they used timber so the the total amount the total cost of this timber they used 1500 feet of timber foot and one feet costs 18 shillings so you can uh, let's let's do the calculation so 1500 times 18 that is around 27000 so the the they would like just buying timber it's 27000 and transporting it from where it was to this place it costs around 3000 shillings uh so that is that is around uh, 30000 shillings just for roofing timber and uh, they used 3 meter uh 3 meter iron sheets 52 iron sheets the uh, so 52 iron sheets and one iron sheet uh costs around uh and one iron sheet costs they did a very nice job at roofing and one iron sheet is 1290 so 1290 shillings times 52 that is 67000 so if you take 67000 plus 30000 that is 97000 uh for uh, for the roof and the person uh we paid uh, uh 10000 to do the work let to uh, to measure the house everything as we gave an engineer 10000 shillings to do this work the engineer took only 10000 shillings that's around 100000 and 108000 shillings so if you check if you if you look at uh the wall there are seating posts that uh, are holding this soil uh, holding this mud the seating posts the seating posts are 
we used around 50 seating posts so 50 seating posts uh and one post costs uh around uh, 100 shillings that is just 5000 shillings one post costs around 100 shillings that is 5000 shillings that's 100 and something thousand shillings then uh remember we have nails we used a 20 kg of nails on top uh, uh roofing nails and one kg of roofing nails is 250 so you can do your mathematics there you, you can do your mathematics there and see yeah and you can do your mathematics there we use dumuza's mabati uh, we used Dumuza's iron sheets to do the the house. This house has a corridor, a corridor here. Yeah, this corridor will be, the owner will design in the whatever way they want. If you want something cheap and you don't have the money to do it, because if you decided to go to the permanent house using bricks and stones and going to foundations and all those cement, it will go up to 1 million shillings or 800,000 shillings. But uh, this house is, uh, you see, the owner the owner wanted to leave the rent. The owner is already staying in the house. So that is the advantage of building this semi-permanent house. The owner, it only took two, uh, two days to construct this house. Then the third day, it was uh, putting the mud kuboma in this side so you have to remember there are nails that you use the nails you use timber you use uh, a lot of things water but uh, the owner of this house what they did they just drilled a borehole because drilling a borehole uh, around here only costs around uh, it only costed them 4500 to dig a borehole manually uh people they used manpower they didn't use the the machines to dig the borehole so they did this borehole that they they will be using water from here to do the plastering yeah to do the plastering the water is here yeah the, the borehole has water has a lot of water i don't know if you can see but yeah you see there's water so they use 4000 only to build this to build the to drill that to drill that uh, borehole so uh, another thing they did is they had a gate here the they did a gate and you know first the, the first thing they did is you know they purchased this land and purchasing this land is also one of the costs they used around 1.1 million shillings to purchase this land. They were living on a rental, so they left the rental house and came purchased land. And they did. They wanted at least somewhere they can do some little farming. And you see, they planted maize. It's doing well. They planted trees, and the home is looking good. You can see the distance from the gate to to the home. It's a pretty. It's a pretty. A pretty some distance you can see so the owner basically basically these house they have used around 150 thousand shillings they have used 150 thousand shillings to construct this house uh, where it is now 150 thousand shillings yeah so that is it uh, for the costs, the nails, the windows. The windows, each window was costing 2,000 shillings. You know, when you buy the material, it was costing, these windows were, were costing 2,000 shillings. They are size 4 by 6 windows. They were costing 4,000 shillings. The house, there's nothing, there's nothing that has happened to this house so far. If you see uh, the ground it's still soily but the owner is in the house they have no stress they are going to work they are working now when they will start plastering the house when it's dry you can see it's not yet dry when they will start plastering the house uh when the house is dry they will uh 
you know they will they will they will have no problem because right now the money the, the money they were paying on the rent they will be using the money to buy cement every now and then so this is the house they have already used around 160 to 150,000 so far and uh, if they were using if if they were building a semi -perm a permanent house they will be at 500,000 shillings and you see the space they are getting they couldn't get this space you know they couldn't get this space in a rental house for you know for little money but right now they will be in future when they have enough money to build a bungalow or a manch uh, or a you know a gorofa they will build the houses they build the house and you know everything will be well this is now the house any question i'll answer it using the video just ask questions in the comment section